Today's episode is brought to you by Audible for a free 30-day trial and to receive a free audiobook. Just head on over to audible.com slash gamebreaker. Gamebreaker TV. What's up, everybody? Welcome to This Week in MMO, episode 172 for December 13th, 2013. You're watching Game Breaker. I'm Gary Annie. Coming up on today's show, we got big Elder Scrolls Online news this week. Uh, the NSA apparently play World of Warcraft and sad news for World of Darkness hopefuls. All that and more. But first, Magic Man, Mr. Mike Byrne. What's happening? How are you, sir? How are Good. you? Good. Forgive me for being a little crackly today. I'm still getting over being sick, but... With the release date, I had to come. I had to come. He had to make it. He had to make it with the release. <laughs> Joining us, as always, Mr. Jason Winter. How are you? So, so Mike, does that mean you're the Kenny G while I'm the Michael Bolton of this show? Because I, I, I still have the good voice. I can do the singing. You can just play the... I do play piano, so maybe I should be the Yanni of the show. Oh, okay, there Ooh, you go. That would be excellent. Gary is Kenny. Gary is Kenny G. He's I'll Gary Kenny G. G. You're Yanni. You're yeah, Michael Bolton. I'm Bolton. Gary. Yeah, you sure. should be Gary G. Just just be Gary G. It totally works, right? I, we got a we got an easy listening thing happening here. Forget Ooh, yeah. Wemo. We are we contemporary. Oh yeah. All right, Elder Scrolls Online has a release date. Pretty interesting one. It's April 4th, 2014. 4-4-14. And the conspiracy theorists go crazy. <laughs> there it is. Our buddy. Uh, they, some people were like, is it going to be April Fool's joke? A little late. Nope. nope. Um. Skyrim launched 11 11 13. Did it really? Yeah. Well, 11, no, 11 11 11. No. Was Can't, it 11? Well, yeah, it no, couldn't have launched 11, 11, 11, 13. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 not a month ago. <laughs> yeah, no, not a month ago. 11 11 11. This is 4 14 14. I don't know. Right. That's uh, very symmetrical. That is, that's pretty should cool. We, able, we should actually be able to, to, to guess the, uh, the Fallout 4 release date then. <laughs> I'm sure there's a formula in there somewhere. Well, yesterday, no, no, two days ago, two years. Like, never mind. I'm, I'm completely messed up now. Wait, two days. A year ago, ago yeah, a year ago yesterday was twelve, 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 and they totally missed that. They should have released something. Something. <laughs> just, just put out something. Go back in time <laughs> yeah, in your time you machine. Put something, something. Out. <laughs> you should have dropped something. You should have put something out, but that's what you're screwing So, right. are um, we thinking will, like five, five, fifteen, maybe for Fallout Four? Yeah, like, that, that sounds good. Doesn't work like Fallout Four. On five, five, oh yeah, so that should have been. You know, they they gave, are totally they screwed gave Elder up. Scrolls Online the fours. They, Elder, Elder Scrolls six, uh, six, six, sixteen. I can still do that. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, market, market the thing. online beast. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where does that fall into what you guys are expecting? A lot earlier than you guys were expecting uh, the PC version at least to be dropping. Uh, for me, yeah, yeah, that's earlier. I, I expected end of second quarter. I. Really, to be honest, wasn't planning on on getting this one in my Amazon shipment until probably the beginning of uh, or the end of spring, beginning of summer ish was was when I was actually expecting to be playing. So yeah, it's pleasantly surprising. Very, very uh, about two to three months earlier than I would have expected. Yeah, only I mean it's almost January, only a few short months before you're playing. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, land landmarks beta is um. <laughs> Landmarks beta is the four days. The the Wait, pack. it's four. It's four days before. Yeah, for the Wasn't 1999 there? pack, that is like. <laughs> yeah, you're you're right, Derek. If you bought the the basic twenty dollar pack, the it's March thirty first is the thirty first. Mm -hmm. Four days before four four. Now, if you're no. dumb like me and shelled That's out a hundred dollars, right. you'll already have been playing for a month at that point. At least a month, but that's because people like me are stupid. This is mm -hmm. getting scary. Four fourteen, four days before. Ooh. <laughs> oh. You think Zenimax? You think? Do you think Zenimax are going around to are they targeting? All these companies uh, like to do that. It seems they always like to target something else that's coming out. Right. They do, but but because they did, they did kind of do that thing with 
Skyrim on the 11.11, and now they're going for the 4.4. I kind of don't think so much. I think they kind of had that date maybe picked out already. Didn't just adjust their thoughts, like whatever it was three weeks ago when that was done. It was like, well, we were going to do, uh, you know, April 15th or April, April 23rd or something like that. But this sounds better, and it screws with SOE. So, yeah. And we I haven't heard, know. the other thing is we haven't heard about anything about like any kind of packages of pre-ordering the game or something. So it's theoretically possible that they could offer something to allow you to pre-order and get in the game on the 31st, the same day. <laughs> now that I could believe being kind you of a, a quick four reaction. Four days of early access? <laughs> I, I really you hope nobody is. I hope nobody's copyrighted that video. Do you guys think there'll be? You think there'll be some kind of like open beta or beta weekend? You think they're gonna do no, anything what, like that? What's the, what's the date on that? What is four four fourteen? Anybody uh, have what's a the date? On that? It's four. What's, what, I mean, what, four. What, what, what day of the, the week? Date is in fact four fourteen. Four, four, what day of the yeah. week? You know what I it's meant. A yeah. It's a Monday. It's a Monday. Oh, that's and, weird. And it does. I have confirmed that that is the fourteenth. Fourteenth. Confirmed. Confirmed date. Here. Yes. <laughs> Wildstar is also looking at a, a kind of a, a launch somewhere in that window. We don't know yet. It said spring, yeah. So that again this, gives them that whole area, which should probably get be as so far away from this as far yeah. away from this area as possible. Now they know, so now we can expect. Yeah, we'll be probably be as far away from this date as possible. They're don't in a wanna... bit of a pickle now, I think, by ESO being this early, uh, being you think? two to three months earlier. Yeah, because they've still got other things to contend with. It's not just an Elder Scrolls Wildstar year anymore. And we were looking at Elder Scrolls and Wildstar probably coming out around the same time, and Elder Scrolls already had the IP sewn up when compared to Wildstar. And now other things have entered the arena for next year, and well, here's here, go, the big here comes here's Elder Scrolls saying, we're ready to go. I mean, do you, do you think it's possible Wildstar will release before this? I mean, they're already at the point they're letting people, they're giving live stream access. Have you seen this? Like people yeah. on Twitch have, I think we're actually, I'm, uh, not, I, I'm not sure yet, but there might be something coming up. Game Breaker, follow this Twitter stuff. But, uh, what? Well, every, you know, a lot of people have, uh, you know, Tally's been live streaming all day. He's been live streaming yep. Wildstar. They, they, they've opened up mm -hmm. a lot of people on Twitch to allow them to stream. So, I mean, that kind of gives the, the impression that they're a lot more confident right now in, in, in showing what, you know, their game in the current form. We're not seeing much out of ESO. Last thing we saw was that super secret thing that nobody could talk about and that thing that, you know, nobody knows. may or may not have been in. involved in. Yes, we don't know. What are you know. talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, what, what, are you what talking the hell about? are you not talking about? I don't understand. No way, no way. You don't think, you don't think, <laughs> you don't think Wildstar before April? I don't think so. No. 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 Not if they have called this. If I, if I, yeah, if I had to bet, there's just been so many. It's going to come out in 2013. Oh, it's almost the end of 2013. No, it's not. It's coming out next year. There's just been so much of that with Wildstar and so many different. Like, I got a chance to play it in San Francisco back in May, uh, and we did a bunch of videos on it then. And then watching some of the stuff that's more recent, it's not even the same damn game. I mean, they're mm -hmm. cha they're changing a lot. How you doing, buddy? Oh, hi. Hey, hi. Hey, doing, pal? Hello. Um, it's not even the same damn game. So I would I don't think we're gonna see it in April, uh, or earlier than April. I think it's definitely later in the year, which you know, you know, now they've got to be really careful about. Here's a crazy thing that I could almost see them doing, and I can only see Wildstar trying to pull this off. Like uh, so many so many companies always try to get try to shove everybody into their game right when it comes out into their MMO, the minute it comes out. You know, get all the people in now, and you know we want to sell two million copies in our first month or whatever. Six months down the line, whatever. But just let's get this huge super launch. I can almost see Wildstar being like, "Yeah, we're launching, and yeah, there's these other games around. But if you want to play those for a while and get burned out on them, and then come to us, sure, go ahead." Like that, I can see might, them doing a video. I can see them doing a might, video like might, that. Do you think they might actually just some sort of like sort of soft <laughs> launchy kind of thing where they don't push it insanely hard? They just kind of do their thing. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's the Possibly. way to go. Now, here's the Their other one. The publisher somebody... is NCSoft. Oh, that's it's, true. It's that's not true. a company that historically is okay with a slow burn growth. Yeah. Not that's to say point. that they won't, because they have been putting a lot of money into this project, but it's not a company that historically is okay with slow burn. Now, somebody, you want to talk about somebody else who could, who could ruin ESO's launch? That would be the old Blizzard. 
What yep. about the warlords of Draenor? You think we could see Draenor? And I think we see Wad in April. It's possible. They said at BlizzCon they're a lot farther along than people think that they are. I hate that acronym. Wad. <laughs> so, would you like to see Wad in April? No. In fact, I don't. Just no. That sounds <laughs> disgusting. I don't want any parts of this. I think April. It'd be cool, but I don't. I think April's still a little bit early for that. I I think that is still going to sit in the the late spring, early summer time slot that I thought Elder Scrolls was going to fall into anyway. So I think ESO is doing the right thing getting out ahead of Warlords of Draenor because I think that one's still going to be mid-year. Yeah, I'm moving it up. I used to think that it was going to be later in the year to match with their other stuff, and I, I do agree that I think it's going to be more of a summer or maybe very late spring kind of deal, but far enough away probably from you. these things. But yeah. the other thing is, we could you could definitely see the beta kicking in in April. Mm. Yes. Which still oh, would yeah, draw, I definitely uh, can see that. Yeah, that's going to pull a lot of people, so it's going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be MMO bloodbath. Who will survive? Yeah, it's, yeah Wildstar better have a sick launch, because there's, there's, there's a lot going on. Blizzard, mm -hmm. Zenimax, Carbine. Yeah. Carbine's the unknown here, right? I mean, they're the... They're the one that really got to kind of pull out the stops and let people know what the heck this game is and what the IP is and why you want to play it. So Yeah, they're um, the ones with everything to lose at the moment. Now, something I mean, I was because really Elder Scrolls Online, to be fair, has all but confirmed and told us in exact sentences, we're going to be sub as long as we can and then be free. Yep. You know, I mean, they've done everything but say that exact sentence. So where with the whole, what is it, the Plex thing, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's it's all on the table and it's up to Wildstar to deliver. They're they're the only ones that can uh, can succeed or fail. And it's all going to be based on what they do. Something they're, that was really interesting pinned. about this, something I thought that was really interesting about this, uh, the announcement was I, I kind of didn't really anticipate them staggering the PC and uh, console launches, which I'm surprised. Being Elder Scrolls being such a staple in the console market, I kind of thought they would do the whole thing um, and blitz all at once. But this is the the April 4th is only for the PC players, not for the PS4 or Xbox players. Were you guys surprised at all? I am surprised that this one's as late, given that the reason we were told Elder Scrolls was going to be June. delayed into 2014 was because of the console version of the game. And then to have the PC release at least two months earlier than the console version, I, I would have expected to see these at the same time, given the reason we were told the PC release was being delayed out of 2013 at the time. Yeah, they're saying P, uh, PS4 uh, console release is going to be not until June, which is a bummer. Because I kind of really want to play this on a console. I want to. And see the chat's bringing be... up an interesting point. Blizzard can just totally own the year, bring out the Heroes uh, beta, and drop the Hearthstone launch at different points throughout the the whole year. Just screw with everybody's release timetable. <laughs> oh, you Blizzard! <laughs> they would never do such a thing. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> Uh, there's also a trailer that went along with the launch announcement. Uh, we won't play it here for reasons that I think everyone can understand <laughs> not, this week. If you've been following like the news at all, you know what I'm talking that are about. Gonna notice. Should, should, I, should I whistle the Elder Scrolls theme just to see if I can get us no, content no, match? No, don't. That's audio. For God's sake, please don't. Don't even. Did you guys it. like it? Do you guys like the, uh, yeah, like the trailer? It's a good trailer. That's, That's good. good. Pretty badass. Yeah. Um, there's also a big. Uh, there was a Reddit AMA this week. Um, Getting better still. Getting better. Like each AM, AMA keeps getting better <laughs> from like eight on. Well, the, 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 the information of... keeps improving as well. Um, so we speculated yeah. last week about um, will you be able to respect both skill and attribute points? Um, so if you have no health and want to tank, you don't have to like roll an alt or anything. So I don't know. Should I go like into my back in my day choices had consequences old man hey ranked. we True. talked about this last week gary i know and i thought it was a pretty shitty way to make you roll an alt <laughs> if they wouldn't let you respect that so we expected that it does make sense it does make sense um it mm -hmm. was a pretty good ama though all in all so yeah. you guys should go check it out um when they asked about why uh the class why go with classes when everything else in the game seemed to work more of like a versatile system? They responded with uh, with two points. They said that they uh, they want people to be going into the game uh, with an archetype in mind and able to play uh, that from level one. So 
Why can't we do that with a skill-based system? I guess it makes sense, and because if you look at all the different skill sets that they have, you know, it's your weapon, and you're gonna have your guild, you're gonna have your race, you're gonna have all this stuff. It's, I kind of see it as just another, another one of those, another set of skills, because they are so versatile. They have like three different branches in each one, and from what I can remember from the time that I played a couple months ago, not for any other time that I played, the perfectly uh, approved press talk about time. Uh, each of the trees seem to indicate a sort of a sort of field, like a DPS and a tank and a like a support build in the one class that I played. So you you still get that kind of variety, even though you are a class. And they always they always said at first, you know, your class is just your starting point. It doesn't really define what you are. And I was kind of thinking, yeah, yeah, whatever. We we have this notion of what a class is in an MMO, and it's like you are a tank or you are a whatever. But I think they actually did a pretty good job of diversifying your choices, even within your class. So it's not a hugely restrictive choice. What do you think, Burn? Would you vibe this? This, be more this should like have Skyrim? just been reworded. <laughs> yeah, I would have loved this. You again? You and I went into it extensively last week on how Skyrim happy we were and how much we want this to be Skyrim the MMO. Uh, th this should have been totally reworded in like a non-PR fashion to just be like, we done catered to casuals. Because <laughs> 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 yeah. But that's what it is. It's, or, ca or it's catering. Catered, or to fans of previous Elder Scrolls games where they had classes. It's not all just Skyrim. Elder Scrolls did not begin with Skyrim. Oh, burn. We done catered to casuals. You guys talk about all... Uh, I'm, I'm an old school gear. Back when choices had consequences and back when... Uh, uh, but it, it's Skyrim. That's the only other like, that matters. I liked when you got killed and you de-leveled because you lost experience. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, yeah was. the other... The other point that they made was that they they said they made they wanted to make sure that you know it is a multiplayer game. They wanted you to play off the strengths and weaknesses of other players in the game. Again, though, I have to say I don't know if that's a real like. You, why can't you have that with a skill based game? Exactly. Yeah, I, I I didn't these these just seemed like uh, press points more than anything to me than, than like actual reasons why they did anything. Uh, it, it, they're nice sounding. But they don't hold a lot of merit. I, I think the same could have been accomplished with a non-class system where you build the skills. If you wanted to say we're we're building classes so that you can drop into an archetype and go fine, but that wasn't that wasn't the intent. The intent is to balance this damn thing, just like we talked about last week. Since PvP is going to play such an important part in this, the answer to this should have been. Classes balance. allows us to balance the damn PvP a lot easier than it will be to just let you guys go hog wild silly on our skill system. Yeah, it's a, it's a real, it's even a, need, yeah. I was about to say, but you barely even need your classes when you're actually out there. You could have, you could have no skills that are related to your class. Now, granted, you, you still probably want to have some, and they do matter to some extent, but it's not like... Did you just say I have no skills or class? Yeah, yeah, basically that did. too. That is disgusting, Mr. <laughs> But but yeah, I mean, so I, I don't know that it's that much of a balance issue because, you know, like I said, you could you could have completely your bar have nothing to do with your class. So mm, I don't know. I think I'm it has not, a lot to do with the balance. I'm not sure. I, I mean, it's a, I think it's a complicated issue. I just don't know if I buy the answer that they kind of like you know threw out there. I think it's a, it's a lot. It's it was so kind of weak in PR. I won't deny that. Yeah. I think it's so complicated they just didn't want to get into it. They're like you know, it's like we really try to explain this. Like people aren't going to understand this. We need like one <laughs> sentence to, to explain this. To like we'll just say this because it is. It's <laughs> Gary's imagining that it's the same thing I always tell you. Imagine what it looked like in the boardroom when this yeah. question came through, and they were like, "How do we answer this?" Well, we could really tell you, but you wouldn't understand. So, uh, Jimmy, make two things up that sound like they could fit this situation. Perfect. Uh, finally, up, I love this part of the news. Uh, you'll be able to master all trade skills on one character if you so choose. Bird, you have to be happy with that. Yep, I love it. And I, I mean, I love that in Final Fantasy. I love right. that in any MMO that gives me that, that opportunity. Big fan. But Gonna don't you really old great. school gamers, don't you have to have it that one character is your, your wood guy and one character is your metal guy? Man, what's up with that voice? Us old school gamers aren't allowed to have teeth? 
<laughs> yeah, pretty much, right? Because because it's all old. You got you, know, you got the bad dentistry, and they all fall out. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now I have no skills, no class, and apparently nothing but gums. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I like the, the idea of being able to, to do all the, the skills. I mean, most people, 99% of us, aren't going to level all of them anyway because it does get ridiculously boring. But when you have the option of doing it, it does give you something to fill that time when, oh, Jason and I were going to go do this uh, and this and this and this. He's not on yet. Well, let me go kill an hour or two leveling something and checking it out. I like those little side options and being able to do everything. And I guess you're still gonna you're gonna need to invest um, skill points into crafting. So I, I would imagine that some people are really gonna stand out more than others. So it might still have hopefully this effect that you know people kind of rely on different crafters for different things and stuff like that if you specialize in stuff like that. But we'll have to see. All right, I want to talk about this NSA stuff, but first I want to talk to you about Audible. Have you guys checked out Audible yet? No, that's not the right answer. Audible.com slash GameBreaker. Go on over, sign up, create an account, get a free 30-day trial and a free audiobook just by using that URL. I'm sure there's a bunch of World of Warcraft fans in here. You guys listen to Dawn of the Aspects yet? You should. It's already up on Audible. Went up last month. Take a listen. The best, the bronze aspect in the realm of time. When he first returned from the timeways, Tick continued hesitantly. He recounted what he saw. No matter where he and the others attempted to journey in history, they always emerged at the same point in the future. Ah, yeah. I'm a huge fan of Audible. Love, love, love the Audible. And, of course, the World of Warcraft books are awesome. Um, there's a few of them on here, not just on the aspects. That is the newest one. You guys want to check out that one? There's also uh, the Vulgin book, uh, the Jaina Proudmore, Storm Rage, and Wolfheart. So just some of the fantasy, of course, is just, you can choose, and, you know, from amongst a ton of other books is your free book. But I highly recommend checking out the World of Warcraft stuff because they're great books. Uh, just make sure to use audible.com slash gamebreaker. That's the URL you're going to want to plug in there, make an account, download the iOS uh, or the Android app, depending on what device you're using, and uh, download a free book. Audible.com slash Gamebreaker. All right, so the NSA have been spying on gamers in the world of Warcraft and Second Life. Have you guys heard about this? According to the latest round of uh, reports from Snowden, his secret documents. Yeah. And raise your hand if you're a bit surprised. And no one. This is just proof that like little like like the NSA is just uh, listening to everything. Like there's just nothing that they're not in, and that's it. Well, there proves they're stupid. <laughs> I don't. I mean, because who would, who would? I mean, who would do this? Uh, your government. Well, I, yeah. well, but, <laughs> no, but here, here's the argument. <laughs> who would do this? Well, the story says the NSA. <laughs> is... What I'm saying is, well, first of all, this is like old news. This was out like five years ago. I, 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 I looked. I remember hearing about it a while back, and I looked up. I was able to find the old. The same thing posted like five years ago, but you know, whatever. I guess Snowden confirmed it now. But here's the thought: is like, if 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 I want to plan my terrorist attack, whatever, I'm going to call burn on my cell phone. And yeah, maybe the NSA is listening, and maybe they're not. Maybe AT and T is has making recording or whatever. So, well, sure. If I type in my World of Warcraft chat about terrorist attacks, Blizzard has a freaking log of that. They're going to keep that because they keep that stuff when people are doing abusive stuff or whatever else. That's all unquestionably recorded. Like, there's no doubt. So, how dumb would you have to be well, what's to weird, plot your terrorist see, attack? The, and wow, the actual report actually talks more about um, them utilizing games as a as a testing ground, which I still can't understand in an MMO what you're learning. But I don't think it's necessarily talking about them just using it as a chat room to plot terrorists. Well, sure, yeah, I know the, uh, the the scenario with the the White House or whatever they made up. But yeah, it's still, but even so, if I'm going to do that, I'll use my secret code in my, my decoder ring over the cell phone or whatever about this a great yeah. novel if you've never read it i think i've talked about it on twimo a long time ago it's called mmorpg uh by emil van deer emil van i think that's van deer I, I might be wrong but it's called mmorpg and it's about this very topic it was written three or four years ago and it's about tracking this uh, group terrorist group that is 
using specifically World of Warcraft to stage, practice, execute, and formulate uh, different terrorist attacks and use that as a testing ground before they execute it in real life. Now, the book does go through stupid stereotypes where, of course, the terrorists happen to be Middle Eastern, and it's just all those tropes. And they're living at home with their parents because they're... No, no, no. no. It it goes through those stereotypes, but not gamer stereotypes, so I guess it's good in that regard. Well, it's not offensive at all then. I don't mind. Right, right, right. 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 It's because you're not a terrorist. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) In that regard. So anyway, it's a a very good read. Go ahead and read it, but... uh, and we argued about this on After Dark. Kiggles and I kind of got into it on this one because I, oh well, to me. As long as the NSA or any uh, group, any security group, isn't breaking actual laws, acquiring the information, uh, like hacking Blizzard's software to do it would be a violation of all the laws that are put in place to protect Blizzard as wait, a wait, company wait. to be okay able to make this? the software. I don't have any expectation of privacy on a game that's recorded by the company that makes it. But this has nothing to do with if the company. Blizzard, the com- if the company maybe has logs of this, this is the government like right. s- recording all this stuff unbeknownst to, to you or the game or anything. Now, again, if the government uh-huh. is obtaining the information illegally, in other words, they are hacking Blizzard servers and scraping all the chat logs. Yes, I have a problem with that. If they're in-game obtaining information by walking around or in parties talking to people that Blizzard's already recording and told me in the big EULA, we reserve the right to record and monitor everything you do here and kick you out if we don't like the way you're behaving, there's already a set expectation of, look, it ain't private, buddy. Even if it's private, it ain't private here. We're monitoring it all. So as long as the entity, the NSA or whoever it is, isn't violating laws that protect Blizzard and its software to obtain the information, I don't care what you do. I don't have an expectation of privacy in those games. Now, the other thing that could be going on here, and the reason Terror is maybe using rooms like this, we're talking about the whole chat room scenario, which would make more sense, is that they could use it as a chat room and actually communicate vital information to each other if there was a secret language to tell, you know, like if if you understood on both ends what to sort of talk about and what meant what, and you were referencing World of Warcraft things, but you understood that this meant that, well, then you could absolutely get away with just having a conversation in World of Warcraft, actually planning, plotting, and, you know, to pushing information back and forth between players. So it is totally possible. Yeah, and but again, chat, why not chat, Yeah, why not do that over a cell phone instead of in the chat's wow. bringing something up that if, you're, if they're shaking Blizz down for the information, then that's mm-hmm. no good. Totally agree. That's not yeah. what's happening here. In fact, Blizzard came out and said, hey, man, <laughs> if they're taking information out of our game, we it's don't know news it. to us. Yeah. And as long as they're paying their fifteen dollars a month, they can all come. <laughs> you know, and and maybe Blizzard should be a little more okay. Are they just playing the game and acquiring the information through natural processes, or are they screwing with our source? Best job. If they're screwing ever. with our source, we need to know about it. And Hang then, on. Yeah, I, I would gotta have go a to this then. office. I gotta log in. Right. I gotta talk to. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta hang out in Baron's chat for a couple hours, honey. I'll talk to you later. Oh, All that's right, last... great. Akron, Akron from tra- chat just built the best headline I want to see. NSA breaks beta NDA. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, last up today, uh, news this week hit of CCP Games, uh, the creators of EVE Online. They were also working on uh, World of Darkness, the uh, the MMO based on the World of Darkness IP. Um, uh Went out this week. There were layoffs on the team. Fifteen positions had been eliminated. Um, pr- approximately, uh, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, first of all, I thought you know, it sucks hearing about people getting laid off, especially this close to Christmas and all that's terrible timing. But I don't know. What do you guys think this says for World of Darkness? I can't imagine the team of World of Darkness is like hundreds of people at this point. Yeah, Didn't- when I saw fifteen, I was like, so the whole team. I'm not really <laughs> sure how many are left there now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah I'm surprised a, there were that many. We uh, we Did, were didn't... we were tipped off by an anonymous tip tipper, tipper tip tip tipper, and um, I heard yeah. every every level designer. I heard every level designer was let go. I don't know. I can't. I don't have confirmation, Ugh. but I heard. But who needs levels level. in your MMO? I mean, geez, it's just going to be vampires going around drinking each other's blood and smoking and whatever. 
I mean, later once we once we broke we broke the story, um, everybody picked up on it, and then uh, CCP then released. Once we broke it, CCP did release uh, an official statement, um, and they're also saying that they're committed to the franchise. And uh, uh, there was, I think, the quote was something that promised to make a compelling, reach, rich and deep uh, World of Darkness experience. So. I don't know. What do you guys make of this whole situation? Do you guys, are you guys holding out any hope for the world of darkness or what are you thinking? No. In a word. Sad. Sadly, I have to agree, which makes me really sad. Yeah, I just, I just don't see much chance of this ever really seeing. If I had to take bets, I would say no, that it's just not, never going to happen. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I know a lot of people really love the IP and love the franchise, you know, and CCP's got a really great reputation for, you know, even online, it's amazing. So these these layoffs were in the Atlanta <laughs> office. I have not. never seen an MMO go from whoa to super promising to not existing faster what about, than... What about, what about uh, Copernicus? Well... Uh, that's pretty close. That went which, from, which actually was like on sale this week. The auction went yeah. off like this week, I think. So, yeah. Did it, did that, it that actually this week? It was going on. I don't know what concluded or what kind of news there was. It did. Yeah, I don't know if they did. Nobody. It. Nobody okay. bought it. They bought a different property. I think. That, I think Dude, they you can still a, get it. Like for three fifty. I might be wrong, but I think I read the story that they they um somebody picked up one of the other properties. We're, this is so confusing because we just jumped topics completely. So, mm-hmm. um, it's a I think vapor somebody, topic, kind of like a game. I think somebody picked up one of their other properties for like three hundred thousand dollars or something like that. In that, if I had to guess, I would say there's a better. If I had to put put the choices for me, I'd say there's a better chance we'll see Copernicus before we see World of Darkness. What? It, I'm not saying either one is likely to happen, I just think Copernicus is better. Better chance. So seriously, the auction was delayed because the attorney wanted to go through additional details with interested parties and then nobody bid on it? Yeah, I don't think, I don't think anybody bought it. So, I don't know, you gotta go look that up. I don't have that in the rundown. But yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure that uh, they sold something, some wow. other game that we hadn't heard of that they maybe had in development. They sold that. So anyway, third round of uh, layoffs in the Atlanta office uh, for CCP, the, the Atlanta, Georgia office. So, um, Man, that sucks. That, that, that's an, I mean, that's another bad mess. sign. It's just that, you know. Third round. Eve, Eve is okay. I mean, it's, but it's you know pretty much what it is. It's about where it's going to be. And then Dust was not that great. So it's like, they need something, it seems like. They need some sort of extra infusion, some other good success to make it so they can actually do World of Darkness. Maybe, we'll maybe I'm just a softie, but I would have liked to have seen them, you know, hung on re- and retained till at least the, the top of the year. Uh, well, kind of sucks. Maybe they'll restructure and get back on track. Who knows? Michael Byrne, follow him on Twitter, Magic Man, M-I-G-I-C-K-M-A-N-N-1. And right here on Twimo every Friday at 3 Pacific. Uh, Jason Winter, follow him on Twitter at Winter Informal. And Aren't you glad you don't here. have to spell my, my Twitter name anymore? I don't even have to. Just Winter Informal. No, it's, it's easy. 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 I made an easy mode for you noobs. You casuals. There you, go. you can follow me at Gary Gannon, follow Gabriel TV, Gabriel TV, and uh, go check out our brand new show called Game Breaker. Yes, the new flagship show is back called Game Breaker with myself, Pat Crane, Cole Train, and Mr. Mike Shaftnet. Episode one is up on GameBreaker.tv right now. Go, go, go watch it. It's a really fun show. So have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you next week for some more This Week in MMO.